Creatine is one of the most popular supplements among hard training athletes and people trying to improve their bodies. But what can it do for us, the over 50 man? Fortunately, it's well studied and in conjunction with exercise, it has health and sports performance benefits. 95% of creatine is stored in our muscles as phosphocreatine. This is important because when we do any high intensity activity like sprinting or weight training, we use an energy source called ATP. This energy doesn't last long on its own, only one or two seconds. With phosphocreatine, this time can be extended to five to eight seconds, giving us more energy to perform our training. It also aids in replenishing ATP between sets and after our workouts, leading to better training sessions with faster recovery times. Recovery is key for those of us over 50, as many of us feel like we just can't recover as fast as we used to. Creatine is a supplement that I personally take, but I don't want to oversell its benefits. It should improve your strength and performance between 5 and 15%, with the greatest advantage going to those with limited meat diets like vegans or vegetarians. Still, if you're serious about your training like I am, you're going to take advantage of whatever percentage you can get. Creatine is a cell volumizer, and it does this by drawing water into the muscle cell. This can make our muscles look a little larger and fuller, but creatine doesn't add muscle on its own. The new growth comes from the ability to train harder because of the improved energy production taking creatine provides. Creatine does more than help the over 50 man continue to build muscle when most our age are losing it. It can also help us with our memory, another area that tends to decline with age. I read one study where the average age of the participants was 76 and they split them into two groups, testing both groups memory ability, but only giving one group five grams of creatine four times a day for two weeks, which by the way is longer than the traditional creatine loading phase. That's usually only seven days. After two weeks, they retested both groups and found that the group that took the creatine scored significantly better on long-term memory and spatial memory tests. The reason they feel this worked goes right back to the energy system we talked about at the beginning of the video, ATP. It takes energy to remember and a small amount of creatine is stored in the brain. If we don't have a sufficient amount stored, it can have a negative effect on our brain energy. Increasing levels of creatine benefits memory and intelligence, even in young people, as illustrated in a study that was done on 45 young adult vegan and vegetarian test subjects. Creatine supplementation improved both their memory and intelligence scores. The study concluded the added creatine reduced mental fatigue. Some promising studies are being done with creatine to help relieve symptoms of Alzheimer's, Huntington's, and Parkinson's disease. But as of yet, most of these studies have been done on animals. Animal studies don't always translate well to humans, so we'll just have to wait for more research before drawing any conclusions. Earlier we talked about creatine loading that was done in a study. If you're just starting to take creatine, you can load it by taking 5 grams four times a day for a week, then five grams a day afterwards. When I first started taking creatine, I just took five grams a day. And if you do the same thing, in about a month, you'll have topped up your storage capacity. Creatine monohydrate is the most researched form of creatine and the one I recommend. Because it draws water into the muscle cells, it isn't going to dehydrate you, but you should always make sure you're drinking enough water to supply your body with what it needs. I do know of a couple of people who had trouble with cramping and backing off the daily dose from 5 grams to 3 fixed the issue. Creatine works by improving our ATP energy system and energy is life. To find more ways to improve your energy levels, watch this video next so we can keep working out while having fun. This is Lawrence from Fit and 50. We'll talk to you again in the next one.